Oberlin College canceled classes Monday after a report of a man dressed as a member of the Ku Klux Klan was spotted by this path on the Ohio campus. Sunsere Tabler says she was shocked when she saw the unidentified man near an African heritage building. As a student, I've never, even just been encountering that type of racism in my life, that's something that has never happened. Student Miguel Amawanya says the sighting follows a disturbing string of hate-related incidents seen in recent weeks. The water fountain, you know, uh, vandalized with the words whites only or, or um, um, again, more, more uses of the N-word around campus, vandalized on walls, um, um, swastikas. On a campus that prides itself as being a stop on the Underground Railroad that helped fugitive slaves, students say they're on edge. Nobody feels safe. You're walking, you're, you're walking um, um, at, at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning um, from, from Mud Library and, and watching your back the whole way through. And that's no way to live. That's no way to live on campus. You come to a place like Oberlin and you think, okay, you're coming to one of the most open and liberal places in the country. And you're excited about that because you don't think that there's going to be anything like this. And it's just kind of disappointing. But instead of keeping quiet, Oberlin students are taking a stand as it marks a week-long event known as Peace Week. Sending the message that we're all here together and we're going to stand against whatever this is. If you have feelings of white supremacy or against um, anti-Semitic or homophobic or, you know, any of those feelings, against people that you know will be here, then you shouldn't come to Oberlin. College officials say they hope the incidents will help to unify the campus around inclusiveness and respect for others. Diane Kepley, Associated Press.